What is the most courageous thing that you're yeah. about to take on? Now, the courage is, is not something for the past, it's always for the future, it's also for the future. And now there is another time for courage, which is to have the courage to invest in sustainable energies. We find out that our technology is suitable for the third generation of thin, flexible film, photovoltaic film, which tomorrow will equip you know, tents, will equip uh, smart cities, uh, durable cities, or, or new transportation to transform light into energy. And um, we, we have a coating know-how on thin films, so we, we are investing 20 million euros for this project, but we know the return will be long. It will maybe 8, 10 years, maybe more, maybe 15 years. And we need to have the courage also to be able to, mon to, to mobilize uh, money, to mobilize funds with investors with, uh, w w who are ready together with us to uh, accept a long-term return. Mm -hmm. And this requires also to renounce, to say no to many investors who just want short-term return. And so this requires some courage also with the banks to convince them that our project is good. But, you know, at the end we are very motivated by that because it gives us some direction, gives us some sense of what we are doing. And I think that when, when the, the, the employees of the company know that what we are doing is right, because it helps the future of the world, because we, to save resources, to, to solve the climate problem, um, then they have uh, so much energy inside to do it that we are very motivated. And then, you know, there is a link between business and objective of life. You know, it becomes, begins to be united, all in one. And then that, wh what that creates is not only future, but it's also happiness. Would part of that message be, if you really follow what you believe in, you know, what, what would be the summary of this? How could you summarize this? Well, to someone as a, advice to someone? The, the summary of this and the advice behind is that there is always a way if we put the person at the heart of the business. Business is not, person is not made for the business, the business is made for the persons. And um, when we link the interests of the customer, our customers, the big uh, corporation or small corporation, they want to do something for the environment, to preserve the natural resources, but they don't know how. Our people, they want to make their job being a, and their company to be a success. And so, if there is an interest for the customer, there is always a way up. And this is a deep conviction that even if the finances are not good, taking a different angle is creating a way for, for success. And the fate when a company is under difficulty is not always to shut it down. You can have other ways. Maybe sometimes you don't have the choice. Maybe at the end you have to. But unless you have, no, you didn't, you have not tried everything you can, I think it's a... It's a, it's a must uh, to really find all possible ways to, to uh, maintain the jobs and, and, uh, and, and the business. I think Europe needs industrial companies. Industry is needed. Um, too many companies are just shut down just because they are weak. And you know, at the end, we, we, we let so many people uh, without jobs. And the cost of it is huge for our society. So it's better to keep jobs than just erasing them. Is your company a public company or a private company? Was it, was it your uh, company? Or was it Armor, the company I manage, is a private company. It was a family-owned company. It, had been, it has been bought by, the, by a group of uh, participations. And then now, very recently, a few months ago, this is another, another uh, example or experience of courage. We decided as, as uh, managers, uh, me as chairman and CEO, together with all employees to buy back the majority of the shares of the company just to give it, give it a future and to make our long-term project uh, happen.